the phenomenal piece of cosmic exploration and investigation, Voyager 1, has been roaming the nearby cosmos for 45 years. Backed by sophisticated instruments and a genius team of scientists, the probe has been sending data back to us. However, recently, it seems to have encountered something in deep space, triggering a disturbing data relay. NASA fears this data may be in response to a secret message it sent to aliens many years ago when the probe was launched. What secret message did NASA send to aliens on Voyager? What response was triggered, and how does this tell us about the existence of aliens? Join us in this video as Voyager 1 sent a message to aliens 45 years ago, and we just received an answer. There's nothing more fascinating than exploring the vast reaches of the universe and uncovering the mesmerizing world of space beyond the stars. From time immemorial, humans have been fascinated by what lies beyond the stars, and many questions about our cosmic existence have prodded us to research and explore time and space. The search for answers has led to amazing discoveries and breakthroughs in cosmology, as well as fascinating feats for astronomers and scientists alike. One such feat was the launch of Voyager 1. Launched from Cape Canaveral on September 5, 1977, this probe had the mission of exploring the distant planets of our solar system and the interstellar medium beyond. NASA built Voyager 1 with ideas and modifications based on its predecessor, the Pioneer 10 spacecraft. Voyager 1's engines were designed to be more effective and to withstand more radiation. Even before launch, NASA engineers wrapped certain cables and sensitive parts with aluminum foil to provide further protection from cosmic rays and radiation. In addition, Voyager 1 was equipped with instruments like stabilization gyroscopes, eight backup thrusters, a 12T diameter antenna, and a digital tape recorder. Voyager 1 took a direct course through the asteroid belt, a region of space where most asteroids in our solar system are located. Miraculously, the probe survived the asteroid belt and navigated safely across, zooming past Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But that wasn't the only miracle of this probe. It reached the edge of our solar system and broke into interstellar space, something no other probe had done. Thanks to this miracle, scientists finally had hands-on data from the vast region of interstellar space. Before Voyager 1, all we had were theories, assumptions, and mere snippets of what interstellar space looked like. This cosmic wonder is the region of space between stars and star systems, filled with cosmic radiation, dust, gas, and more. Initially, when Voyager 1 entered interstellar space, it was very disoriented, and the control tower at NASA was overwhelmed by the strange readings being received. The crazy data made some scientists suggest that something may have hit Voyager 1 in space or tampered with it. Some theorists even suggested that intelligent life forms may be trying to communicate a message back to us via the probe. However, it turned out that the crazy data was due to an issue with Voyager's receiver, also called the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS. This system helps keep Voyager 1 properly oriented by keeping its antennas pointed directly at Earth at all times. Some experts suggest that the AACS may be getting old and not functioning as it should, causing the telemetry data being sent back to Earth to be wrong. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, mentioned that the spacecraft are almost 45 years old, far beyond what the mission plan had anticipated. Voyager 1 signal hasn't weakened all these years, suggesting that its antenna is still sharp and in the right position. Currently, Voyager 1 is at a distance of 23.3 billion kilometers from Earth, and it takes about two days for messages sent from the control tower to reach Voyager 1 in interstellar space. Communicating with Voyager 1, billions of kilometers away, is possible thanks to NASA's Deep Space Network, a worldwide network of spacecraft communication infrastructure. The Deep Space Network includes satellites, telescopes, and other facilities scattered across the US, Australia, and Spain. These stations provide constant observation of spacecraft and aid communication to and from space vessels, making it the most phenomenal scientific telecommunication system in the world. 
Voyager 1 usually transmits data over the Deep Space Network Channel 18, using frequencies of either 8.4 or 2.3 GHz. Transmissions from Earth to Voyager are done at a frequency of 2.1 GHz. Voyager 1's data has been crucial to the scientific community, but the recent strange signals have sparked confusion. Despite the earlier data error, scientists gained valuable insights from Voyager 1 crossing into interstellar space. It provided information about the elusive edge of our solar system, the heliosphere, which is a giant bubble of charged solar particles surrounding the solar system. Voyager 1 also detected sounds of interstellar gas emissions, offering a unique perspective on the vast region between stars. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 officially broke through the heliosphere. However, unlike predictions, the Sun's influence extended a bit farther into interstellar space, raising questions and prompting further exploration. Voyager 1's longevity is partly due to modifications made to conserve power. Non-essential systems like cameras were shut down to minimize power consumption. The last photo from Voyager 1, showing Earth as a tiny dot in the vast universe, offers a perspective of our planet's insignificance in the cosmos. In 1977, when Voyager probes were launched, NASA did something unique. Instead of just equipping them with instruments for observation, they included pre-recorded information on a special golden disk attached to Voyager 1. The disk contains recordings of natural sounds, songs from various cultures, greetings in different languages, and images encoded with a special code, a message representing Earth for potential encounters with extraterrestrial life. While some speculated about aliens encountering the Voyager probes, the scientific community remained skeptical. The vastness of space makes it unlikely for extraterrestrials to have reached the probes in such a short time. The closest star system, Alpha Centauri, is about 40,000 billion kilometers away, and there's no scientific evidence of aliens in our immediate vicinity. However, recent signals from Proxima Centauri, part of the Alpha Centauri system, have sparked interest. Proxima Centauri b, one of its planets, has conditions that could support life. Additionally, signals detected from Proxima Centauri resemble the famous WOW signal, picked up in 1977, raising questions and speculation about potential extraterrestrial communication attempts. Despite the intriguing signals, scientists emphasize that the recent strange signals from Voyager 1 are likely due to technical issues rather than extraterrestrial encounters. The lack of active instruments, like cameras, hinders our understanding of the probe's surroundings. Voyager 1 continues its journey through interstellar space, and as long as it stays active, there's hope for potential discoveries that may captivate.